Okay, in this video, I'd just like to solve the equation written in front of you. Alright, so let's go straight into this. I'm going to solve this because it is a second order linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Alright, it's second order because the highest power is 2. And it's constant of coefficients because this has got a constant of 1, this has got a constant of 9. We can rewrite the equation as y double prime minus 9 times y prime minus 0 times y to the naught is equal to naught. That's, sorry, 0 times y is equal to naught, like that. Alright, and the way to solve this is to solve the characteristic equation. So the characteristic equation is going to be lambda squared, lambda, uh, lambda, and it's going to be equal to lambda to the naught. That is equal to naught. Put in our coefficients, this is going to be 1, this is going to be negative 9, this is going to be equal to 0. So we're going to get that lambda squared minus 9 lambda is equal to 0, just like our differential equation. So we need to solve this. All right. Now, of course, I, I'm just going to do the general way. I know, I know we can just solve this straight out, but I'm going to be do it the very general way. So it's going to be minus b, which is 9, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 81, minus 4 times 1 times 0, all over 2. And these are equal to lambda 1 and lambda 2, our two roots. So of course this is this is just going to be equal to uh, the square root of 81, which is 9. Okay, so it's 9 plus 9 over 2, so it's going to be the first root, lambda 1, is going to be equal to 9 plus 9 over 2. And the second root, lambda 2, is going to be 9 minus 9 over 2, is equal to 0, is equal to 9. Alright? So, we now have two roots, lambda 1, lambda 2, which are equal to 9 and 0. So let's finally solve our equation very quickly. Alright, so, let me note these and get rid of all this. We know from our characteristic equation that lambda 1 is equal to 9, and lambda 2 is equal to 0. And I told you in a previous video that the general solution of this equation is as follows. y is equal to, and I'm going to say y is equal to y of x, just as a matter of interest. So it's going to be e to the alpha x outside of the cos of beta x plus the sine of beta x. And I said in the past as well that alpha was the, the real solution and that beta was the imaginary Okay, now notice we have two real solutions. All right, in other words, that the square root b squared minus 4ac, when we looked at that, we found, of course, that b squared is greater than 4ac. Well, this was equal to zero. However, when 4ac is greater than b squared, you'll have an imaginary number there. All right, an actual imaginary number. So in this case, beta is equal to zero when alpha is equal to, that's not an alpha, but alpha is equal to nine, and beta is equal to zero when alpha is equal to zero. Alright, so let's plug those in and we're going to get two solutions. We're going to get that y1 is equal to e to the 9x. And note, of course, that the cos of naught is equal to 1, and the sine of naught is equal to naught. Therefore, this is just going to be all multiplied by 1, and y2 is going to be equal to e to the naught. Alright, so in actual fact, in this case, we only get one solution. So, the y general, the, to the general solution is equal to y1 plus y2 is equal to e to the 9x plus e to the naught equals e to the 9x. Alright, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.